inspires them telling me that their lives have changed, that they won't be able to buy anything else, that they are angry, they're upset, they have nowhere to move, they were planning on living in these units, and now their whole lives are, are at uh, loose ends. I'm Adrian Gobrio. Last week on City News, we told you how about 1,100 would-be condo owners bought into a pre-construction development near the new Vaughan TTC station. Last week, they also received letters from the developer whose headquarters were standing outside of tonight, Liberty Development, saying that pre-construction project had been cancelled. Well, tonight, people are starting to get their deposit checks back with zero interest, and many are also saying they're getting little to no answers. In real estate, time is your friend, and we've lost two years, right? So, and you can't get it back. So it's two years of investment time is gone. Steve Fox is one of many would-be owners we've spoken to since Friday, who bought into a development called Cosmos Condos, which was slated to be built near Jane and Highway 7. Last week, owners received this letter from Liberty Development that said the project was cancelled and the decision to scrap it was made by vendors. A statement to City News reads, the cancellation of all purchaser agreements was made solely due to the inability to secure satisfactory construction funds. Financing. It goes on to say, in part, despite the project's sales, the decision was made by the vendors. It looks to me like the builder and the vendor are the same person controlling the two different companies. The vendor is a numbered company. A City News investigation confirmed that this man, Fred Darvish, is behind the vendor. He's also the president of Liberty Development. A PR representative for Liberty declined a request for an on-camera interview today, but we spoke on the phone. They argued that the developer and the project vendor are separate entities, even though the company's president is associated with both companies. I am not thrilled about one blaming the other when it's really the same thing. Uh, that shouldn't happen and the law shouldn't allow this to happen. I don't know if it's dirty business, but it certainly smacks of somebody trying to take advantage of the strict wording of a contract to put the place back on the market for substantially more, more money. Fox, who bought a two-bedroom unit for around $450,000 in 2016, says the fact that deposits are being returned today without any interest isn't the big issue. It's that he's losing out on how much his condo investment has increased in value over the last two years, a loss he estimates to be around $200,000. What if the tables were the other way around? What if prices dropped 40%? Am I allowed to back out? No way. It's part of my retirement. City News obtained this email from a City of Vaughan employee to a Cosmos condo buyer who was asking when construction would begin. It was sent on February 12th of this year. The city worker, whose name we've redacted, wrote, I also heard that Cosmos will be breaking ground in spring. In the city's end, the site plan agreement, subdivision agreement, subdivision registration and bylaw enactment are still pending. It looks to me that the agreements and bylaws that are necessary before construction starts are still not approved, and we don't know the reason why. Was it that the builder was wrong, or that they're asking for too much, or that the town is very demanding? We have no idea what the actual reason is for that kind of delay. Again, we reached out to Liberty Development to speak with them on camera today or speak with someone here at their headquarters in Markham. They declined a request telling us they're focusing their efforts on communicating with people impacted by the cancellation. Though every single buyer we have spoken to say they've heard nothing from Liberty Development. Ahead on City News, we hear from a real estate agent who says that realtors are also on the losing end here, with some putting up six figures for marketing campaigns to sell the units. I'm Adrian Gobriel. We're outside of the headquarters for one of the largest condo developers in the GTA, Liberty Development. They're on the hot seat tonight after they cancelled a sold-out large-scale condo project in Vaughan that some 1,100 would-be owners bought into back in 2016. Today, many of their deposits were returned without interest, though according to one real estate agent, that's nothing considering the units and land have shot up in value and the only one able to gain from this appreciation is the developer. Depending on the specific project, uh, you could see values having increased by anywhere from 20 to 40 percent uh, in the area around um, uh, the most recently reported 
uh, condo cancellations in Vaughan. So it's understandable that buyers who are buying, maybe they're not looking for fantastic returns, but at the very least, they're upset that the dollar that they, that they paid two years ago, the contract amount that they agreed to, um, very often they can no longer afford uh, the same square footage or, or the same purchase price now in today's prices. Realtors who are involved in uh, pre-construction condo sales are usually paid in a uh, staggered way. So often, uh, soon after a, co a contract is signed, uh, and then other payments over the subsequent years, um, any realtors who sell pre-construction condos, which are then cancelled, um, very often are subject to clawback uh, measures that are in their contracts. So any commissions that have not been paid are usually no longer paid, and any commissions which have already been paid are usually clawed back by the developer. When you're buying a property pre-construction, uh, the developers do have a lot of power. Terry on tells City News that they are requesting information from Liberty Development and they're looking into the circumstances surrounding the cancellation. Though they're telling any would-be owners to reach out to a lawyer if they believe the project was cancelled in bad faith. Late this evening, we have received an email which indicates that a class action lawsuit might be organized.